How can forces influence motion to give athletes the competitive edge in a sport? When a cheerleader performs a stunt on a mat, they are using Newton's third law. The pressure the cheerleader puts on the mat is exerted back to the cheerleader. We claim that if a tumbler does tricks on a mat, that exerts more force onto them. Then they will execute better tricks. We will do this by adding springs below a flat padded mat so that the tumbler will gain more energy for his or her tricks. The spring will make for a bouncier surface containing more force than a flat mat. Do you think having spring mats for all ages and levels of stunting would benefit cheerleaders? Yes. A spring floor does make it safer, and um, spring floors are very expensive. So the main thing is you, typically an all-star team is, is who's going to have a spring floor because they're doing a lot harder tricks. But tricks um, including tumbling and jumping and stunting have all gotten harder and more complicated and if they're going to continue down the path of high school cheerleaders being able to do those types of things then they need um, a better cushioned surface. Okay. Uh, what is one example of kinetic and potential energy in cheer slash stunt? So Stored energy in a stunt would be the energy that's stored in the muscles of the bases, and when they explode through their bodies to throw a stunt, then the energy would be transferred to the flyer who squeezes her body really tight, and that energy is kind of flowing through her body as she rides through the air and then comes back down through the air until the cradle happens when the stunt is, well, once the cradle is <laughs>